Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Lauren Ashburn. First Lady Melania Trump makes an unannounced visit to the U.S.-Mexico border. Her goal? To see firsthand how migrant children can be reunited with their parents. In Washington, President Trump says the U.S. has the worst immigration laws in the history of the world. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. The first lady arrived in McAllen, Texas, less than 24 hours after President Trump signed an executive order to keep migrant families together after they illegally enter the country. Critics say the order doesn't go far enough for families. The president says greater immigration reform is needed. We have uh, come up with a lot of solutions, but we have Democrats that don't want to approve anything because that's probably they think bad for the election that's coming up. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people suffering, and that's unfortunate. As the president slammed Democrats during a White House cabinet meeting, First Lady Melania Trump visited McAllen, Texas. She toured a facility where migrant children stay, some separated from parents. She's thanking border officials for their service and sharing her concern. I also like to ask you how I can help to these children to reunite with their families uh, you know, as quickly as possible. Critics are reacting to the president's executive order aimed at keeping detained families together. The Catholic Legal Immigration Network says it doesn't do enough. The immigrants' rights group says the order notably did not address the problem of thousands of children who have already been separated from their parents, many of whom have no idea where their sons and daughters are. Some parents have even been deported while their children remain in federal custody. Today, the president defended his actions, saying the U.S. will care for migrants who cross illegally, but the law still needs to be followed. We have to house them, and we should be taking good care of them, and then we should return them back home. Today, the Justice Department formally asked a federal judge to change the rules on detaining families caught at the border. A previous ruling states families can only be detained for 20 days. It comes as the Trump administration is continuing its zero tolerance policy where anyone caught crossing the border is criminally charged. Lauren. White House correspondent Mark Irons, thank you.